Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So this time around, we'll be using the Saber. Now, the Saber is essentially the big brother to the Matak, but I cannot directly compare them because I do not have the Matak on this playthrough. I explained that in my Matak video, but I do have a good enough idea of the Matak stats that I can give you a rundown of the two weapons. So it weighs far more than the Matak. It has much lower capacity, much, much lower fire rate, but it does far more damage and it's far more accurate. You can view this weapon more so as a... Sniper rifle, a semi-automatic sniper rifle that just has far more shots in reserve or in the clip compared to most semi-automatic assault ri or sniper rifles, but it takes assault rifle mods. To give you an idea of its weight, it weighs on par with weapons like the Revenant, the Argus, stuff like that. But yes, this weapon has 40 shots in reserve at base. It has 8 shots in the clip. This is its rate of fire. As you can see, it has a crazy spread when fired from the hip, and it reloads very slowly on par with weapons like the Argus. So, let's check it out at point-blank range. As you can see, this weapon really is not accurate enough to get headshots from the hip at point-blank range. It has far too large a spread. At point-blank range, you really should only be going for center mass with this weapon. Very large spread, again, similar to sniper rifles. It also has quite the kick. And once again, really should only be going for center mass at short range. Its spread is far too wide to get headshots, so let's try mid-range. And as you can see, we are already completely missing the board with some of our shots. So, really, its effective range from the hip is only point-blank and short range. Beyond that, you are not going to hit, but for posterity, we will continue on. Good enough. And really, really bad, one shot hit out of five. All the rest completely missed the target. And good enough. So, really, really bad. Its effective range from the hip is just point-blank and short, and you should only be going for body shots at those ranges. So let's see what happens when we throw in the sights. Point-blank accuracy, though I don't know if I would say perfect accuracy. Uh, it, it just about has perfect accuracy. I, I would say it has perfect accuracy. It just has a very large kick that you must adjust for after every shot. So let's now try short range. More of the same. Let's try mid-range. And I think those misses were more because of me and because of the kick. Indeed, I would say that was my fault. I was trying to fire at its maximum rate, which is difficult because of its massive recoil. But again, excellent, excellent accuracy. Ignore those two outliers. I would say perfect accuracy at mid-range when fired down the sights. Alright. And still, I would say, basically perfect accuracy. I would say that is within my margin of error. Let's try long range. Alright. And still, I would say this weapon, for all intents and purposes, has perfect accuracy when fired down the sights. So really, all a scope will do is improve your personal chance to hit, just because, you know, you have a magnification. 
but it's not strictly necessary if you are good at just using the sights to hit. So we will just actually look at a scope for very long range just to give you an idea of how that might be beneficial. It helps, but it's not necessary. As you can see, much tighter grouping on the head, decent grouping on the center, and that's really all the scope will give you. Its accuracy is already beyond improvement, just baseline, when fired down the sights. So let us quickly compare it to the Black Widow, a similar weapon, something that you would use for the same purpose. So the Black Widow's damage is definitely a bit larger, and its accuracy is better, but both weapons have perfect accuracy, so accuracy is moot. I would say... Its accuracy is about here for the Black Widow, so after the green for the Saber, and its damage is about here, the tip of my mouse pointer. So the Black Widow does do more damage, but this weapon has far more ammo in reserve and far more ammo in a clip. The Black Widow has three in a clip, this weapon has eight. So depending on what you want, you could either go for the Black Widow or the Saber, and also keep in mind the Black Widow uses sniper rifle mods, whereas the Saber uses assault rifle mods. But definitely a very interesting weapon, something that I will... Definitely love to try out. I haven't actually used it in combat yet. I immediately went for a target practice video. And something I should mention, this weapon was found on Sanctuary, and I, again, had to go back to get this weapon. Fortunately, it was the last mission I beat, so it wasn't an issue. But I had to go back and redo the mission because it's very easy to miss. You have to override a pod near the end of the level and then actually backtrack a bit and then find it. So, again, Sanctuary, make sure to be careful about looking for it because it's very, very easy to miss. Also, before I forget, a quick shout-out to Dekato123 for informing me that I actually missed the Saber on Sanctuary. Alright guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and have a